Mom's like, are you going to read the directions? No, I think this, I think you just push this button. It worked. <laughs> now, if it didn't work, I would have read the directions. Does it read the digital pressure off to you to put how much pressure is in the tire? I don't know. I think this one does. But I do have a small one that you can plug into your lighter. I've had it for And it works really good to air up your tires in your car, and it will tell you the pressure. And then I, I have a big compressor that I bought a few years ago. A big compressor? For what? Work with it, but um, it all came with a kit, but I haven't actually used that part yet. Do y'all think it needs more wood, or is it good? It's good. Rosetta is not. Yeah, I have jumper cables, and I've got the little bitty mini air compressor that you plug into the cigarette lighter. Then I've got a big. I think we need one more piece of wood on there. So Dow Stars and my cousin does not know that they are live right now, so I'm going to let you all sit and listen to the conversation. It's pretty fire, though. And I keep the toe strap in the car and chains in the truck. So when I get stuck somewhere in the pasture. So that's going good now. Don't you think? Mm -hmm. So I think the upload speed might be good enough out here. Maybe to do a video. What do y'all think? What? Huh? We did video right here the other day of the eclipse. We could call it campfire conversations. Good. Right? Sitting around the campfire. Yeah. Hear the crickets. Mm -hmm. Fire crackling, sparkling. I don't hear that frog anymore. What frog? I heard a frog out here. You did not hear a frog. <laughs> that was a bird. There There's not. There was also a frog that was crazy. I don't think so. <laughs> yes, there was. It was a bullfrog. I said it was a frog. It wasn't just a frog. I don't it's think so. No, there's, the pond's not close enough for a frog. You can hear frogs from a long ways off, Jimmy. Well, not in the back window. You can't. Well, it wasn't it was out here often. somewhere. <laughs> Jeremiah was a bullfrog. Sing it, Tanya. <laughs> Sing it, Dow Stars. How does it go? Jeremiah was bullfrog? Yeah, sing it. <laughs> it's a bad hole I hear. No, just sing it. Jeremiah was bullfrog. You gotta be louder than that. I don't remember the rest of the words. She was a good friend of mine. Oh, How yeah, does it go, was a Sherry? Good of mine. <laughs> I had, it was a little mini, it, it was for cassettes. Or, you know, the little mini cassettes used to come out. Uh huh. That started when I was little. And I had a Disney player and that was one of the types that I had. I so why don't y'all sing it? Well I that's, remember the song that's the only because two lines that I remember. Well Tanya put the words up and you sing it. Or Dow Stars. I can't get it to pull up. Mm. Oh, so I bad. think that's coming in clear maybe. On the video, not sure. Got that big, beautiful tree. Oh, 
Hey Tanya, will you check YouTube real quick and see if anybody's live? Live. Yeah, just check the live. Too. No, I just check the live button real quick. See if anybody's live. Who's live? I remember Jeremiah blew a fog a different way than you guys remembered it. That's the one that I rem that's the one no. that I had recorded. That was the same song. So I think this right here is a good little don't y'all think this was a good little thing from Lowe's Home Depot? Because it's like a piece of tin wrapped up. Is it live? Yeah, you're live. <laughs> 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 so they just found out we're live y'all so hopefully it's coming in clear so now we can talk hey sue maritza amy diver rosetti barbara thelma and lisa no marshmallows tonight we had cake so today was my birthday so we had cake and happy tim and his parents are sitting inside and we are out here just you. hanging out now Sherry's like, I'm not talking anymore. <laughs> so we're just sitting out by the fire. I was going to test the upload speed. It's going to check the upload speed, just see how it was. Hey, Eileen, how are you? Thank you so much, Sue. So we won't be on here long, but we just came out. We built a fire and we're burning some wood. And listen to the crickets. What else do y'all think is out here? Crickets, frogs. Y'all frog. saw that. What is bullfrog. it? Cricket. Yeah. And June bugs. How many of y'all have June bugs? Thank y'all. Appreciate that. So we got a lot of June bugs around here. They love to come to light. And they definitely yeah, love to come to the fire. Not like the second day. So the black cat had had her babies. And I'm not taking any home. Yeah, so Dow Stars is not taking any home. So the black cat has had her babies. Don't know where they are. Thank you, Amy. Eileen, appreciate that. Rosetti, Tammy. Tammy could travel out here. She's only seven miles away. She could. She could, couldn't she? Rosetti could come on out here. Rosetti is a neighbor. But the black cat had her kittens. She came back over to eat twice today. She is no longer pregnant. Her belly is not looking like a, what would you say, a softball? A little bit bigger than softball. An old school softball from the 50s. Sherry, weren't they bigger? The softballs from the 50s were. Yeah. Yeah, they're bigger than grapefruit. Yeah. And then y'all saw, what is it? I wasn't alive in the Okay, I'm sorry. Sherry was not alive in the 50s. I said the softballs were a little bit bigger in the 50s. She's not a 50s girl. Hey, Charlene. So, yeah, Sherry, my cousin, is not from the 50s. 60s. She's a 60s baby. She's a 61 baby and a 70s terror, weren't you? Or not. She was, a band, she was a band nerd. She was all, she never partied or anything. No, she she was good. She's always been good. The big bell bottoms. I love those. I hated those. I do too. I like stirrup pants. What do the stirrup pants look like? They were double knit pants. They had a sewn in seam. Can y'all hear her or not talking about double knit pants? And they had a stirrup that went underneath your foot. It was, it was a a double net pant that had a stirrup that went under your foot. So kind of like when I played baseball. Yeah, it's kind of like when I played baseball legging. Why did we wear leggings, though? Now that, Yeah, but I'm saying in baseball we wore leggings. You know, you had the sock, and then the, you had the strap that pulled under your ankle. Is that, that what it was? Well, I could care less if my pants. Well, I'm not so sure it would matter. Would it? I mean, I could have played baseball in shorts. Yeah, but then it might get the new stuff when you slid in the... Maybe so. So Charlene said her black cat had four fur babies this week. That's right. Hey, Vicky, how are you? 1980s baby here, too. Well, 70s and 80s. I remember the big thing when I was growing up was parachute pants. I wore those too. <laughs> Amy Diver, thank you so much. That was a beautiful perfume bottle for sure. So she's got her perfume bottle in her living room now on her antique table from her grandparents' house. 
I think Tanya might. Y'all have a lot of antiques from your grandparents, don't you, in your house? Or not? You don't? No pie safe or anything? Well, Grandma Brown never had much. She just gave me, uh, she gave Mom a really pretty purple ring. That's this really big, huge purple stone that she she got because she used to take care of this this elderly lady in California when she lived there. She had quite a bit of money, and when she passed away, their daughter gave that to Grandma, and then Mom got it. And I used to be able to wear it. It was real pretty, but I've gained some weight. I need to get it resized. But it looks very expensive. Sherry, do you have any antiques? Amy was born in 71. Yeah, that's the year that Tim was born. So do you have any antiques from your grandparents or anything in your house? No. I just not have any antiques. Now, do you thrift a lot, antique or not? Me? Yeah. You don't shop a lot at all, do you? Not unless I have to. Sherry only shops unless she's with us, right, Tanya? If I'm with God, I look. Sherry's not going to... I don't antiques, but there's stuff I picked up at the antique stores, like red glass. I just have to see it and like it and be out for no reason. I don't go on shopping trips. Well, the problem is if Donna Sansbury, I don't know. Things, I can't Eventually find you get too much of it. <laughs> if I need something, I can't find it. So Donna's asking how many kittens with the black cat, but Tanya, you didn't see her pregnant because you have not been here. Mm -hmm. So Tanya did not get to see her pregnant, but her sister, I'm sure, would guess quickly or no right since she's a vet no if your sister saw her she'd know how many babies she probably had well maybe yeah by looking at her i would think three or four she maybe five she was tiny but she was big i mean she was swelled out she kind of had maybe three. six three th you don't I think four or five i'm sad about my first cat well, thank you, Donna Sansbury. I appreciate that. So we've had a relaxing day. Nothing big and fancy. We've just been sitting here eating cake. Yeah. Yeah, so the Siamese, she came up last night. She's not been here today or tonight. So I'm, I'm thinking, and I'm not a doctor, but I'm betting the Siamese probably gave birth today too. Because she usually comes up every evening with the black cat. The black cat's been missing for two days. And then she came up today. Yeah, the, well, probably Bob. Bob's missing, though. Bob has not been back. Bob's not been here since I've been here. Maybe the girls all got in argument. No, but he usually comes and eats. Who knows? Hopefully not. Said they venture off many miles. But I imagine, but maybe so. Well, so he has to go farther away. Off, he may venture back this way again. You never know. Somebody else may have taken him, fed him, and he may be. Well, and he's kind of clean, so he might be a house cat. They might have put him in. Said Bob, okay. You know, all these ladies are having a bunch of kids. We've got to stop. So you're going in the house for a while. So he's not been around. But the black cat had kittens. She came back today, the Himalayan. So we've called her Ragdale. I don't know if she's a Siamese. Do you think she's a Siamese? So a lot of people said, I posted last night she was here. And a lot of people said she's a Himalayan or a Ragdoll. She has a flat face. What do you mean flat face? Like really flat. Like not, I, I don't know. What do y'all think of, What do y'all think about the Himalayan Siamese? She's kind of a flat face, yeah, so I'm learning a lot about that cat. So I don't know if she's Himalayan or Ragdoll. A lot of people said Himalayan, Siamese, Ragdoll. Not sure on that one. So Amy, you kept a lot of stuff. Hey, Angie, how are you? That's not a Himalayan. Charlene, I try. I'm going this week. Donna Sansbury, thank you again. I appreciate that. So what do y'all think about... So Charlene says they have a flat face. Amy Diver, it sounds like you got a room full of antiques. That's awesome. So it's nice here. What do y'all think the temp is? Ask, somebody asked you too what temp is. It was 80. What is it tonight? About 70? No, it's not 70. It's lower than 70. I'm comfortable at 70. These girls, y'all, we are going to start this fire, and you know what they said? I've got to get my jacket, and I've got to get my sweater. And I, do you have an extra blanket in your house that I can get and bring out here? And I'm like, it's 68 degrees. 
hasn't updated. It can't be that warm. These girls grew up in the country, and I'm telling you, they're high maintenance. It's either high 50s or low 60s. Hey, tell them that they can all come along with me in two weeks and help what cows. So Eileen, which store? So Donna Sansbury should take one home, Tanya. Lucky needs a brother or sister. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Lucky's having issues of wanting to escape. Not that because we're mistreating her. What's got, no, she's wild. She's semi wild. Yeah. She's born in the woods. Are you trying to keep her in time? She's yes. beautiful. Well, you just, well, here's the deal, though. She can't go back outside, I don't think. Uh, Tanya's got her domesticated. Uh, I had to. My mom's 90. And Sherry's feet must be cold. They're closer to the fire, aren't they? Hey, Don, how are you? Charlene just got a seven-week-old Maine Coon. They get huge. I've never, I've seen a coon. So you're talking about a raccoon? No, it's a cat. A Maine Coon is a cat? Oh, I'm thinking, well, from Texas, I'm thinking you got a pet raccoon. Oh, well, I thought she was talking about a pet raccoon. Amy, you're right, they don't. They do not. So you're good. Hey, Betty Basil. Amy says 68 is a wonderful temperature. But it's 62. It's not 62 out it's here. Two, it's 62? Well, yeah, this was a 68. Hey, Barbara. I do too, Angie. Yeah, he's not been around for a while, so hopefully he's okay. Don, how are you enjoying your new house? So I think you and your husband moved. I have not seen Bob, Betty Basil. I have not. So Charlene said they get as big as a medium-sized dog. Those cats. Yeah, it's, a it's not 62. It's 67. And we got a fire, so it's about right here. It's about 75. So is it coming in clear or not? Oh, I got it right here. No, I'm talking a vi video. Let me see. Oh, it is coming in clear, isn't it? That's very nice. Wow. That is very nice. That internet's working good. I think we need to put some more wood on the fire, don't we? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we need to Go play. for it. These ladies are a little bit high maintenance. They're, high maintenance. They're high maintenance, and I'm just hoping there's not a copperhead in there. Do what? So anyway, we just decided to go live and sit out here around the fire. We were already sitting around the fire, but we decided to go live. So we're having a sale Monday night, y'all. Monday night. I brought lots of jewelry with me. I bought two gallon bags. I've got lots of perfume bottles. I have some purses that I bought while I was here. We can bring those out. Oh my gosh. But yeah, lots of stuff. So I'm going to have a sale Monday. We may have it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, because I know I've neglected y'all. And not had a sale for a while, so we need to have one. Hold on just a second. There that goes. Good night, Eileen. Thanks for coming in. Appreciate it. We'll see you at the sale, maybe. Or in the next video. So I'll upload some videos this week. So I'm going to take Tim and his parents to the airport tomorrow. And I'm going to try to thrift a little bit tomorrow in Dallas. Um, so I'm posting videos every other day now. And I found some good things since I've been here. Hey, LaVon, thank you so much for coming in. I love your comments. Dark spot right here. I'm trying to dig for wood. Don't be shy. Come out to a live sale. No, but we love to see you in the hen den. So you always comment on the videos. Thank you so much for that. Appreciate it. Yeah, so my cousin Sherry was about to leave. And I was like, I'm about to start a fire. Do you want to go sit around a fire? And they're like, yeah, let's go sit around a fire. So that's what we're doing. So we're at the Airbnb. So we're just sitting around chatting about whatever. Let's see here. I'm going to see if I can put this one. 
Where's the marshmallows? They are at the store. So we had birthday cake tonight. Ice cream. Chips and dip. Made hamburgers, grilled hamburgers. Still got plenty. We're trying to give them away as people leave. Charlene says her credit card is ready. So we are having a sale on Monday night. We're going to have a sale. Because I've got lots of stuff and I just towed it around. Donna Sansbury, it's very clear. Barbara Robinson. So Barbara, you're in the Dallas area, right or not? Don't tell specific location, but I think you are in Dallas. Because I know you've commented about going to the St. Vincent de Paul, I think. They had a sale today. They did. I went by there the other day. I haven't posted the video yet. Well, I'm still on the mailing list. They're still texting me. So I called this campfire conversation. So y'all conversate about pretty much whatever. But I just thought we'd hang out for a little bit. Yeah, so the marshmallows. So when I was growing up, and Sherry, you probably did this. Thank you, Angie. I appreciate that. So 49th today. I can't believe it. I really can't believe that. It's kind of a different number, huh? So what's being 50 like, turning 50? Your body starts to fall apart. Does it? Are you sure? Well, you still have more issues. Charlene, today was my birthday. So I didn't post any post about it, but today was my birthday. I can shoot one that way, Amy. It's okay. I don't think you can do... Thank you, Amy. I appreciate that. Amy Hodgen, thank you so much. I don't think you can really post birthdays on YouTube unless you do like a community post, which I don't do that. I mean, I do it when I'm doing sales and things, but not for birthdays or not to post a birthday. So we're just sitting around the campfire. That's the only thing these girls, two girls, if they weren't around a campfire, they'd be going home, wouldn't you? It's summer, springtime in Texas, but I bet they would have their electric blankets going. Uh, I only sleep with two little blankets. And a you know what I did get, though? What? Are y'all ready for this? I don't know if the chat's ready for this either. So Tim bought me, and y'all, it's not a heating blanket. You know what it is? It's a cooling pad, and it's a machine. It has water that runs through it, and you plug it in, and you turn it on a certain temperature, and you can turn it down to like 60 degrees. So I sleep with it 60 degrees laying on this cooling pad in the bed. And Tim don't freeze to death. What's well, only on my side. So yeah, right. Cool. Right. So the, Tim don't have to yep. freeze to death. So the whole idea of it is not to turn down the air conditioner in the house to 68 when you're sleeping, which does not work either. The air still goes down to 68 because I, I just have to sleep cold. And then like I stayed at his house once and had to sleep in sweatshirts every night. Well, Sherry has a good heating pad. So she comes to Florida. She's getting a heating pad. Aren't you? Sherry wraps around. She's like a, uh, Sherry's like a mummy. She wraps it. Mm -hmm. I brought my electric blanket with me. And a portable, you should also have a portable uh, heater in that extra room. <laughs> Not the rent house, but in Yeah, so Sherry, she wraps her legs. She gets duct tape, y'all. Mm -hmm. She wraps her legs and heating pads and straps them down with duct tape. And then, you know, what else do you do? Put duct tape around your back and heating pads on your back. And that way, she, when she rolls over, nothing falls off. Right. Angie, I do too with one foot out. So the one foot is your temperature keeper, right? If you get one foot out, that cools your whole body, doesn't it? Or not? I keep both under the cover. I wouldn't know. So Angie says she covers her head when she sleeps. I say I, could, I do that for a little bit, but I have to have a nose hole where I can breathe. Because I don't feel like I can breathe if my head's under the covers. And I kick one foot out. Right, yeah. yeah is it still coming in clear or not? It is, isn't it? That looks nice. That really does look nice. I can see the comment. Yeah. yeah. 
so for me it's nice to have the campfire i like it out here but it's nice to have that upload speed that's great too because again this is a test for monday so when we have sales i like you to be able to see the jewelry clear and that all depends on the upload speed so if you test it at night like right now and it's clear you can practically have a sale outside i think maybe go grab some jewelry I don't have anything priced. I, just put it right over the I don't have anything researched or priced. <laughs> Charlene, you do get mosquitoes here. Yeah, not right now. Well, I was kind of eating up a little bit. Not as bad as Florida. It's not as bad as Florida, though. The mosquitoes and the flies are yeah, so you do get mosquitoes here. And the gnats. Yeah, and the gnats. And right now it's springtime, so everything's green. Come summertime, like most places, everything dries out. So everything's green right now. So no fire hazards. You can build this big, you know, it's not a big old fire, but a little fire. The trees, Angie, are actually budding. Didn't y'all think so when we looked at them today? I mean, they look good. Uh -huh. Yeah, so we took a walk down the road and looked at the trees. We didn't walk in the pasture because it's wet. The ones in the yard here do have buds, so they seem to be doing good. Amy says, you're just around women who know themselves. <laughs> so bad. I don't see any cats. So I'm betting. So the Himalayan cat, we don't have a name for. So somebody said call her Marshmallow. Or Hershey. Somebody suggested Hershey last night, which is nice. Is it cupcake, chocolate chip, cupcake, or something? Yep. Someone said today. Chocolate chip cupcake. Something like that. <laughs> Angie says Butterfinger. Charlene says she does not like bugs. Me neither. A duck and dodge. Flying bugs. Stinging bugs, wasp. June bugs aren't so bad, but I just don't want them getting on me. They're not going to hurt you. I haven't seen any wasp nest under my eaves of the house yet this year. So they say they call the cat Hemi. I've seen that, Charlene. So Charlene says she has a tennis racket that when you hit the bugs, it zaps them. So what are y'all out doing tonight? I do like this fire pit. So do y'all think I need to put, just spray, what about, just, I mean, the ground's dead around it. So what would you do? Would you put rock around it or just leave it alone? You could put some of those flat tile rocks around it. Dress it up. Around it. Make it cute. You could just put like the flat limestone rock. Yeah. The ones yeah. from Lowe's or Home Depot. The leaves are going to grow in rock. I mean, if you could put like the stepping stone. Well, you could do like stone below it and yeah. then just lay the, yeah. So you're saying cover this part up right here? Are you talking about the outside of it or around the grassy area no i'm talking about putting something around this would you leave this just like it is or would you cover that up so around here just put rock well just lay rock so you just dig you know take a hoe and just dig some dirt and lay rock around it right on the ground so right now it's not grassy so Betty basil says rocks too angie's down for the night hopefully you're feeling better Cause I kind of like seeing the tin, cause that does look like a real piece of tin, doesn't it? Is it not I think it tin? is. No, I think it is. But the thing is, it came from Home Depot, Home and that doesn't. Yeah, that doesn't make it not real tin. Like yeah, it's done fine. It doesn't bend or anything. It's very sturdy. I mean, you go to campsites, and a lot of the campsites they have like the tin horns. Yeah, is that what they call that tin horn? So here's what here's what I thought about doing. I tell you, every now and then I choke up. 
here's what I thought about doing if y'all want to come out is um, get a grate and put it right around the top of this and cook steaks on this yes yeah no I've got one in Florida I've never used it but just take wood put it in there like this but not do it so hot probably lay it start it like this lay it down just do the embers yeah just do the embers yeah and then put the grate on top and cook some steaks on it I think that'd be nice don't you yeah what kind of wood would you use Angie is back to 100 percent so Angie's been sick for a bit but she's back to normal so what about this wood right here what do you think this is what does it smell like Dow stars says hello Angie you think it's oak Jack is oak, it's just not a straight oak, it's curvy. Yeah. I would say it smells likely oak. Smells good. I think it flavored the steak well. So would you prep the steak any certain way before you cooked it? Yeah, so we're thinking steak over, over an open fire like this. That's how they cooked them in the old-fashioned days, 1800s. Oh, it's not a new thing for sure, but I think it would be so nice. And they've got those wood chips, too, that you can put in here that smell really well. You know, like hickory and pecan and stuff. Are y'all freezing? I don't know. I'm just yawning. I don't know why. You might have to send me home with some caffeine. <laughs> Lord... These girls, like I was up till 4.30 last night, got up about 12, back out here at the fire, everybody will be in bed, and I'll be out here by myself. Angie says mesquite wood. Where would I get that? They probably have that at Home Depot or Lowe's, don't they? Yeah. But do. I'm going to get that. Packages. Yeah. Chips, so this so. was interesting. This is probably about three foot diameter, don't you think? Speaking of mesquite wood, when I was at Fort Washita last week, uh, for our little outing, they had a guy there, one of the reenactors, you know, he made all of his own jams and things like that, homemade, and he, and he actually had mesquite jam, and I actually bought some. Oh, wow. And he said he uses, it's from the mesquite tree, and I guess it puts off a, some kind of a, like a, what did he call it? It puts off like a, a fruit kind of a thing. And it's not, it's half the sugar as like regular fruit and that kind of stuff. But that's what they use to make the mesquite jam. So I bought some and took it home. It was really good, actually. But I've never thought of. Did it resemble anything that you've had before? That sounds not good. Really, but it was sweet, but not too sweet. But I was like, mesquite jam? That was weird. He had, he had all kinds of different jams. He made them all, you know, the old-fashioned way. But I thought... I'm going to take that one home. It was really neat. I took a video of it and him explaining it, and I'm going to make a TikTok or a YouTube short video of it. I just haven't actually posted it yet, but it was really interesting. It's like mesquite. So it's from the mesquite tree, and it's like a little fruit that it produces. So I don't think they make these anymore at Lowe's these little fire pits you know you get the ones that had the lid over the top right more that's probably more if you're not in the country yeah, like in florida well, well in florida sure we dug that hole that time and did the fire I right some of these yeah. at uh, tractor supply oh you did kind of place. but lowe's most of what you see at lowe's now are the ones that have the little legs yeah and they most a lot of them are kind of square right they do the legs that are above the ground yeah but they all have a have a, have a it is right Rebecca on. Mercer. It is number forty-nine. I like this one though, you know. But I get the leg thing. So in Florida, I would put that, you know, have a fire pits on legs. Elaine and Bruce have that. Hear that? Did you hear that? I did. Was that a wild hog? It's either a wild hog or a cat. Thank you, Rebecca. I appreciate that. 
Well, they ain't going to come up here with the fire. No, but I mean, that's what I, it sounded like to me. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to go with fog. All right, it's little red whiting hood out in the woods, and it was a wolf coming to get us. <laughs> a wolf coming out, maybe at the fence line. So you can't really see in the dark here, but this beautiful tree, I really think that tree is spread out since last year. So we're not too far out, just a little ways out in the yard. So are y'all going to come to the cell on Monday? I think it's going to be about 8 o'clock or 8.30 Central Time, not Eastern this time, it's Central. Who? Oh, cat's back. That's not the black cat. That's the that's is that the black cat or the Siamese? It looks black from here, but that doesn't mean it's black. Girl, that is not the black cat. That's a different cat. Was it a possum? No, it's not a possum. Are you sure? That's a different cat. Let's go <laughs> see. Hold on, we're gonna try to. I don't think that's the black cat. That's not the black cat because the black cat's blind and she's not that aggressive. Now that's a different cat, so that's not, no, that's not the black cat. It's a black cat, but it's not the, it's not the black cat's blind, yeah. It's a new cat, it's a new one, so that's okay. Got three new ones now. Well, you might find a new under. That cat says, I know where the food is. Yeah. Why? I don't have a poker. You need to look for a poker in all your antique stores. Yeah. Thrift stores. Someone's got to have a poker. You know what? I think I actually have one in Florida. Huh? Get a piece of rebar. Yeah, I'm just hanging on that tree. You could hang it on that tree right there on the hook. You could have Dalton bend it and then put you a nail or a hook or something in the tree and you just hang it. And it would be real. You wouldn't, you wouldn't notice it. Yeah. Is he back? He or she? It's on the other side of the tree. Maybe that's what was uh, we heard was a cat. Got the cats out. Yeah. So that's a big oh, black cat. cat, big furry black cat. Yeah. I've never seen that one before. It was a cat, so it a male was So today it was kind of windy. Tonight it's calm. I think it's more calm. During the eclipse, it was really calm. There's a breeze blowing. You can see it in the smoke. Angie says hello. No, she typed it to you. Oh, sorry, I got distracted with something else. I like that the uh, security lights too also shine so far out, don't you? Because it goes way out in the pasture. Mm -hmm. You can see all the way to that, like the second or third set of trees. Trees, yeah. That way Bigfoot doesn't come get us. Look at her. That cat's over there is like, okay, that's it. I'm back. I know that's the same one that the black cat was working off of. So the black cat did have her kittens because she came back today and she looks not pregnant. So she's had her babies, but she came back twice today and ate, which she gets fed about May the second. Rebecca, about May the second. Do you? Yeah. Well, they'll be coming over here wanting Tanya to take them home. Mm -hmm. I got suckered into that one. I don't know if that's a male cat or if that's a female cat, but it's awful hungry. Like it acts cat. like it's awful hungry, it's doesn't it? It's well, hungry. it's not empty yet. I'll fill it back up and they'll come back and eat. But that cat's not, she's new. She or he's new. Oh, it's got the bowl turned up on its side. Well, here comes the Siamese here right there on the fence line. Look at that. That's either, that's that's the Siamese right there. So the Siamese is coming now along the fence line. She's like, it's time oh, for Lucky's dinner. Mama. That's Lucky's mama. Lucky's mama. It's time for dinner. Come on, baby. 
You'll know when she gets up here if she's pregnant or not. She's not. I can't tell from here, though, if she's looking big or not. So, yeah, here comes Lucky's mama, too, so they'll all get fed. Yeah, the black one's giving birth, but she got fed today. So every time she comes around and I see her, I give her food. So if she's willing to eat, I'll feed her. So there's lots of cat food here when I'm in. So they definitely don't starve, do they? They actually don't get overfed either, but nearly. Not really. Now that one right there, I'm not sure if that's a, I don't know if that's a Siamese or not. Yeah, it gives them a break, doesn't it? Let's them rest. That's probably how they got pregnant. Coming over here eating and resting. Yeah, I think the Arizona, it's the same way here. If there's a burn ban, you can't burn anything. I don't like them too. So I'm not so sure that is the Siamese, Tanya. Because she's awful dark. You know, the Siamese is more white, kind of cream colored. Oh, no, no there she it. is over there. She's by that tree. So look oh, at her right here to the left yeah. of the, or the right of the tree. So the, the sign. Up there on the thing looking for food. She ain't looking for food. food. She's licking the bowl. I mean, she's looking for food. Look, L O. L O O K. Yeah, so the I Siamese, think. I don't know if that's Siamese or not. We'll find out. But even if it is, it might not be friends with this newer one. That Good night, Amy. Thank you for coming out. Appreciate that. Thank you, Betty Basil. Thank you so much. So I guess we're about to get off here and go because we're going to sit around the fire a little bit more. They did, The girls did not know I was going live, did you? Yeah. I kind of had a suspicion you were live. Why? Because I turned my phone horizontal. Yeah. I'm just. I'm I tried not to say any names. So we're sitting around the fire. So we call it a campfire conversation. That's something new. We might have those when we're at the Airbnb. Campfire conversations. We just talk about a little bit of everything, not jewelry, just a little bit of anything else. But yeah, I'm not sure if that's the Siamese, if that is the Himalayan ragdoll Siamese or not, but we'll find out. Doesn't matter, they'll get fed. Carnelian Turquoise, thank you so much. Sue, we'll see you later. Good night, Angie. Thank you all for coming out. So we've been spent 43 minutes around the campfire. I'll leave this video up. Hopefully it'll be clear. I'll check it on the TV. Tanya's been looking at her Dow Stars on her phone. It looks good. So I hope you've enjoyed the campfire. It's awful warm out here. And campfires are always beautiful, I think. Pretty, pretty place to be. Very relaxing. She takes rides around on this chair. So we will have a sale Monday night. At, at The plan is 8.30 or 9. Central Standard this time, not Eastern. But y'all know me, by now, after three years of YouTube, I could be 15 minutes late. I do have a few purses. What is it? We have a mic oh. riding around on the chair. And we'll come back Monday night. So we will see y'all later. Good night, Donna Sansbury. Good night, Rosetti. Good night, everybody. Good night, Rebecca. Hope y'all have a good Saturday night. And a good Sunday. Is that cat back up there yet? No, so yeah, I'm not sure if that other one is the Siamese or something different. And we'll see y'all later. So thank you so much for hanging around at hanging around around the campfire or hanging at the campfire. Good night, Betty. We will talk to y'all later. And don't forget Dr. Rock, it's not too she's probably gonna graduate with her PhD in May. So she's not too far away. We have not had a cell to know the date. But I know when I talked to her a few days, eight days. So Dr. Rock's getting close to her PhD, so she may or may not be in the cell Monday night. Because she is too busy probably studying. So we'll see y'all later. I'm going to close this out. Hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, hit that notification bell, click all. Subscribe to the channel. And we'll see y'all Monday night at the cell at 8 or 9 Central Standard Time, not Eastern. And I always don't know how to turn this off. We'll see y'all later. Bye.